Hey everybody, welcome back to another create tutorial. Today we're going to go over another assistant tool option, which is the spline. This is pretty simple. It's similar to kind of like the vector tools where you can make your points and then edit the curve. So to get started, make sure you have the assistant tool active and then down here in the tool options, make sure you have spline selected. So I'm going to make my first point and I'm going to click the second point all the way up here. And after we get the second point in there, you can see a handle has shown up so I can make a curve. If I want to keep this curve aligned with this first point, I can hit the shift key. So here it's going to be like more vertical, here it'll be more horizontal. I can click and make that point there, or uh, confirm that curve, and then I can go ahead to the second one and I'll just bring it down there. You can always go back and alter these curves by clicking on the handles here and adjusting it. You hit the shift key so we can keep it um, aligned with that point if we want. Or if we just want to make it more dramatic, we can do that. So what we can make this really interesting curve here. I'm going to actually keep it like that. Now you can't put points in the middle, unfortunately. It's just these two points here and then the curve. But you can always go back and make another curve. So if I want to continue this, I'm just going to this up here and say let's say we want to loop this over I can do that and my brush tool make sure snap to assistance is on I'm actually make this bigger so you can see you can see that it's giving me the curve here that I want oops And then I can go back here and kind of connect it. To make sure I'm on the curve or on the spline that I want, I just hover my mouse over it, click, and start painting it. So we'll do that here. You can see that this curve that I made is associated with that spline. If I go back over to a green one, I have my cursor over that one associated with that spline. If I want to go back and change this one, oops, to this here, kind of edit that, match that back up to the pink, and we will go to this orange. You can see that's that spline. So once you kind of layer and stack these, you can get some really nice. Um, clean curves in there. This is pretty helpful when you're doing a rounded armor or rounded objects rather. Let, let's say I'm trying to draw a glass, right? Or maybe I'm doing a vase. Let's say I'm drawing a vase. So I need to make this really nice curve. This is really bad. A really bad sketch, but you get the idea, right? And we can take this spline tool here, make a point, make a second point. We'll curve it down here. I make that snap. There we go. It's a pretty good curve. Back to our brush tool. Snap to assistance. We can do that. If we want to mirror it, we can do that as well. So then we get our base with a couple easy tools. And then we can make a second spline down here to get the nice curved bottom if we wanted. All that good stuff. So yeah, that's it for the spline assistant tool. Hopefully that was helpful and you were able to learn something and you're able to make a bunch of cool uh, curves with that without trying to do it by hand because it can be a little bit of a pain. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one.